what is going on to you scorpio so um how is it that y'all are doing i'm gonna go ahead and give you your tarot reading today there's a link in the comment section below called the link tree link uh click on it it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways for you to financially support the channel so i can most definitely keep the show going appreciate it if you would so look as you can see shuffling up the cards for you we're gonna go ahead and give one more shuffle up. So, you Scorpios have the Death card, which is Scorpio, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, Temperance, Five of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Hermit, King of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Cups. So. All right, so for you Scorpios, the first card out is the death card, which is Scorpio. So right off the cuff, you showed up in your own reading, right? Right off the rip. Um, whenever it is that I get the death card, it always means real change, right? A lot of times, you know, people will think that the death card means like it's literal and it's no, no it's most of the times it's not, you know, I want to say 98% of the times, maybe more, 95 to 98% of the times, it's not physical transition. It means something in your life is going to have to change. And it's a big change. And there's serious choices that the choices that you make, and if, and if you follow through with those choices, will really impact your life. As to what choices that I'm talking about, well, let's get into it. The Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Those are the next two cards, okay? And the choices are about you, Scorpios, could be getting to know somebody that is a pain, right? It's someone that giving you headaches. They don't want to do anything that you want them to do, but yet they want you to be okay with that and enter into a relationship with, with them. And... I'm going to keep it a buck with you, Scorpios. Y'all already know that I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't care if I lose subscribers. I'm going to go ahead and be honest with y'all. Because I could lie to you, but then you're not going to get anything. So pick and choose, right? Look, if you Scorpios are dealing with somebody that's giving you a headache, don't be with somebody who's giving you a headache. You got to leave them alone. Automatically, that's a dub. Automatically. Because... Why would you even want to be with somebody that would even give you a headache in the first place? Think about it. They're not going to give you anything that you Scorpios said that you want. They're trying to find all types of excuses to not give you that. And they're telling you that they're not going to give it to you. You dodged a bullet. You dodged one. Why would you Scorpios want to be around some freakazoid some crazy person that is even bold enough to tell you i'm not going to do anything that you want and you scorpios enter into that see and this is what i mean when i say that you know you scorpios got to watch out for that because this person what i'm seeing here is this person might be very attractive to you you might actually like this person's aesthetic and this is one of those uh, weaknesses that a lot of you Scorpios have to overcome. This is a test for you. You got to stop looking at how beautiful, excuse me, or how attractive this person is. Because when you don't do that, you this per, anyone can use you, anyone can say and do anything to you Scorpios, and you Scorpios will sit there and y'all will take it. So you Scorpios have to be very careful about what is going on right now. So you Scorpios have to be very careful about the quality of the people that you that you invite into your life, right? So many times people say, "Oh, you are what it is that you are that you are attracting." But once again, most of the times people don't know what it is that they're talking about when they say when they say that 
what that means when they say you are what you are attracting it doesn't mean you are what what uh, you know you are whoever comes up to you and talk to you and, and, and talks to you that's not what it means that's not what it means show and prove because why is it that people with my anatomy can go up and talk to other people who do not have my anatomy and then they will bash those people, right? Who have my anatomy, right? They'll be like, oh, you're beneath me. Okay. Your people who have my anatomy will respectfully bow out. Be like, okay, cool. It's not a problem. You are under the disguise of you are what it is that you are attracting, right? But then sometimes the people who do not have my, I can't say the words but the, uh, on YouTube, but the people who do not have my anatomy, they will literally be with somebody that doesn't have a job, can barely speak English, can't spell their name, can't do math. And it's like, and it's like, but they'll try to raise this person up and pedestalize them. Like this person who is not fit you know what I mean? Not really fit for any challenges that life may hand them. They will try to make it seem like some of the people, you know, they'll try to make it seem like people who have my anatomy. This this person is more qualified than some of the average regulars who of the people who have my anatomy. It's like, so it's cap. It's cap. What they're trying to say when they say that you are um, what it is that you are attracting is the thing that you Scorpios were trying to do or are trying to do, which is you see these warnings, you see the warning signs, and yet you still try to have those people in your life. You still invite them in. You still want to put in effort to get to know them. And then when something happens, now it's like, oh my gosh, how could this stuff happen? And I, I, and I get it, you know, like we're not designed to be cold at first us as people are not designed to be cold in general we're not at first but this is something that you have to learn to do right based upon discernment because you scorpios have the temperance and the five of swords what these two cards are saying is y'all you scorpios if any because i got to keep it honest i got to tell you what it is that i see i can i can kiss your butt or i can tell you the truth but i'm not going to kiss you or your butt, okay? So, so, these two cards are basically saying that you Scorpios know what it is that you need to be doing. You know you're not supposed to have these people in y'all lives, but yet y'all are trying to get this person because they may be attractive or maybe they said some things that, that you know, kind of are, are green flags that you like those are things to essentially get you to lower your guard. Those are things to be able to slip through the cracks of you of your own screening process. Remember how it is, Scorpio, that I talked about how when you're getting to know other people, you need to be asking them questions. Sometimes people, sometimes chameleons or people who want to fake it will throw in a couple of good things to make it seem like they're not as terrible as they, you know, as, as they try, as they are truly, and that they just want to be able to slip through those cracks. The tent, the temperance in the five of swords represents, and if you get with, you should know better. That's what the temperance is. You have the knowledge. You should know better. But the five of swords represents, and if you play like you don't know better and you get with them, five of swords is warning you, you're going to have a, a problem. That's the wind doing that? Hold on. Anyway. The Five of Swords is saying that you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a real issue. Because this person is going gonna, is gonna to cause all kinds of headaches. They're not going to do what you want. And, and they're going to put it, they're going to hang that over your head. Like I told you I wasn't going to do the stuff that you wanted me to do. I'm going to do me. And yet you still got with me. And they're going to clown you for that. 
So you Scorpio, so what do you Scorpios do? Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, you keep your guard up. Some of you Scorpios, some of you Scorpios get it. Some of you Scorpios are a little bit wet behind the ears and y'all don't know what to do. That's why you come to me. Let me, you know, try to help you. But some of you Scorpios who get it, who know what time it is, a lot of you are like, nah, you getting, you're not getting caught up with that. Because the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords represents, for you Scorpios who are aware, who aren't enthralled and enraptured by another person's beauty, right? And, and you know, they're attractive, but you're not kissing their butt, so to speak, right? You Scorpios can plainly see straight through their facade and you know, and, and they are telling you that they're not hanging out with you or they're not gonna do certain things that you want them to do, right? So they'll hang out, <laughs> you know what I mean? But even, even that is kind of like pulling teeth, so to speak, right? Euphemistically, right? Because you know, you gotta clarify it. But um, so you, so, so the Queen of Swords and the Hermit is all about so you Scorpios dubbing them like, nah, you good. Cause you saw it, for you, cause some of you Scorpios are seeing it for what it is. And for you Scorpios who may, who are still here, who are a little bit wet behind the ears, who are still watching, check this out. Because in the next couple of cards, you have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. These two cards right here are about the, 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 uh, King of Pentacles represents you, and it represents you, Scorpios, already understand that you are, you value yourself. The, for you, Scorpios, who are aware, you know that you can't be in anything with a person like this. You can't. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't, you can't. That's going to give you headaches. That's going to run your money out. That's going to that's gonna dry your peace of mind up. So you, Scorpios, who are accustomed to this, who are aware, who are not getting caught up with the, a person's physical attractiveness or f physical aesthetic, you Scorpios already know you value yourselves way too much. You don't care how fine a person is. You ain't, you ain't going to allow yourself to get caught up. You're going to show your value. And if a person is rocking with you and they want to give you a chance, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? They're benefiting just like you're going to benefit from them. And you should benefit from them just like they are benefiting from you. That's called a fair exchange. And it's not transactional. See, this is what it is I'm talking about. It only, see, now we're getting into deeper levels of the game. It only becomes transactional whenever it is that a person is so grimy, so dysfunctional, so rude, so warped they have to they have to make it about usury we're gonna get into it scorpio because this is what i mean when i say that there's a lot at some point the game's got to stop and there's a lot of stupidity when it comes to the game because you really have a lot of people out here where it, it would not feel terrible if the person did not make it feel like it would be transactional because we make transactions all the time, right? You make a transaction every time you go to buy a carton of eggs at the grocery store, right? At the supermarket, right? But does it feel transactional? No, it's not. Because you understand <laughs> in order for you to 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 live, to eat the you know, and eat these eggs, right? To continue to live, you have to pay the money. But you understand that it's a fair exchange. In order to in order for the supermarket to keep running they need financial support right so you need those eggs in order to live it only becomes transactional when a person is not getting a fair trade it's not a fair exchange and that's the thing that makes transactional relationships that this person was trying to tempt you scorpios to get into so insidious it's the fact that they want you. See, this is the thing. This is the level of game that people are not talking to y'all about. It's because they it's it's not just about telling you what they're going to do. They it's part of it, part of interacting with with someone who thinks like that. The psychology, the way that they think 
is that they want you to also feel violated. They want you to feel useless. They want you to understand that this is a transactional interaction and that every time they get a chance, they want you to feel how they want you to feel bad. They want you to feel down because they want you to, to feel used because these people are, are warped and they're compromised spiritually and, and a lot of other things. So it's not just about you Scorpios, you know, them talking about this, that, and the third. What it's also about is, is that it's also about them intentionally trying to make it sound as bad as possible to make, to, to have people not only be shocked, but also for them to spiritually feed off of you. It's not just physical, it's, it's them breaking you down and making you feel worthless. It's a sick game. That's why it is I say that anybody who thinks like that, they gotta go because we're moving into a, 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 a universe where the entire universe, we're moving into a universe where you can't have that anymore. That has to be eradicated. You can't have that anymore because what kind of a warped mentality is that? You you want people to, it, you know, it's, it's, it's sadistic. You want people to feel a certain kind of way. And that's how it is that this person's mentality was with you. It's just that you Scorpios who are more seasoned pass the test. And for you Scorpios who didn't know what to do and you're going through this now, now you know. You got to leave these people behind because they're not going to do you any good. They're trying to make you be as worthless as possible by breaking you down. So the so the Queen of Cups represents, they know that they're not going to be able to do that. So guess what that means? That means that you Scorpios have to go find someone that is actually willing and even capable of, of bringing something to the table and giving back to you to where it's not transactional. You're getting a fair trade. And sometimes they may even do it for free without you having to pay it back because it's not transactional. That's what a relationship is. So that's pretty much it. Comment on, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I forgot to clarify some of these. So let's clarify the King of Cups. I mean, not King of Cups, King of Pentacles. See, y'all got to get y'all spiritual defense up too. It's not just about this person talking about the money. It's about inflicting discomfort on you by them showing you they don't have a bottom they will take your money and 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 cuss you out and and call you all types of b's and c's and mfers and all of this other type of stuff and then go ahead and ask you for some money and you will be with that and this is why it is that i say that a lot of anyone who keeps making up excuses for this is stupid by definition because what are you doing? You coming up with excuses and then they just laying in it, sitting in it. Okay, and then coming up with excuses. Then when I come on the scene and I'm like, why y'all doing that? Why? So to clarify the King of Pentacles, you have the Fool, the Hierophant, the Justice, Page of Pentacles, and then you have the Four Swords, right? The Fool represents you have to learn to not be so attached. For you Scorpios that are wet behind the ears, what you need to learn, right? And what I mean when I say wet behind the ears, I mean you're unprepared to deal with this and you fall prey to this, right? A person's aesthetics. And then you find yourself into a problem. For you Scorpios who have that problem while wet behind the ears, you have to build your real internal self-worth up. You're spiritually compromised. The Hierophant represents how for you Scorpios, uh, it also the hierophant is also about for you Scorpios who are not wet behind the ears, y'all literally did the correct thing, because nothing is supposed to compromise you, nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the justice in the page of Pentacles represents for you, you're supposed for you Scorpios who are wet behind the ears, you're supposed to graduate from a person's looks, no matter how not, how how attractive they are deal with them in principle, deal with them as a whole, instead of just a little piece, which is their physical beauty. 
For you Scorpios that have a graduated, been graduated from this, these people who try to run that game on you, y'all already know. Their, their own self-destruction will come from their own hands. They're so divisive that they can't, in order to contain their own divisiveness, they have to deal with someone who is constructive. They're by themselves, their own divisiveness, they will succumb to their own divisiveness. And the Four of Swords represents, so there's no need to worry about that. They will succumb to their own divisiveness. You know, you will hear from them again, but that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.